Here we go. And Evan, last thing I want to say. <laughs> we've seen the monsters of the season. We've seen Usa. We've seen Nana a lot, but we have not seen Moana. Well, I was going to bring that up too. That's the Will it come out? Joke? I kind of want it. I want it. I want a Molong in here, but these guys are very aggressive. We might not see it. The Narsha pre-band because he does not want the speed. And then the Han letting the Bella through. Let's see if Obabo changes the style. Let's see if True Will steals that Wusa first pick. Because we, we joke about Wusa being a reckless assault with the skill too, but also the partial half-truth to that is that he's also an amazing setup tool for a Molong. So uh, they complement each other super well, and it's partially why he came back into the meta this season. Locking down the Wusa and the Bella early, here comes Julianne, but this time in oh the second God. pick. How, how are we talking so normally about a Julian? It's weird. It's, it's weird. Like I'm still not. I'm still not over. This it. is incredible. I'm loving. It didn't even go through, and I'm excited. So I want to see different stuff like this. A lot of players complain about Julian, but this monster has a lot of damage. And like we talk about, a monster is as good as the runes you put on him. Yeah. Because a lot of people have Bell as an LD nat five and don't even use it. But Obabo makes it shine. That's so right. let's see if that Julian is very well rune and can dish. Big amount of damage. Right now, Obabo bringing in the Tablo right now. I'm not sure if it's the Swift or Vio because since True Will is not going clearly for turn one, it can even be the Vio Tablo. Yes, if he gives Obabo room to breathe, it would give Tablo room to proc Hathor. We, we've seen this, yes. but like not in the Legend Tournament. Oh my god, this I, is really smart. I can see a Leo Ban right here as clear as day, and he's not worried with the Juno because he can bring in another source of damage or another source of control and Maybe let the rest of the team through because there's no immunity. Carnal, anything, I don't oh, know. If I would love like the Carnal. Carnal would be a great love, right here. That's a great suggestion, Evan. You know who's really good even in here? Anyone that brings in damage or attack bar reduction. Ganny Thor! Oh my god, Reunited. he's gonna Ganny Thor him. Yes, and I love this season. Wait, I'm glad that this happened because we just wanted to say how. It's completely Nana's fault that Ganny Thor came back. It is. The, it's only weakness is CC, hard CC, and the expected ban on the Leo, Leo and ban on the reset attack bar reduction. He's trying to just have enough damage with this Juno to solo the team, but I'm not sure. There's a lot of damage coming in from this oh Vela. Can he just protect the team and hope? He can hope get a kill. He's, the they, I, I, he's, it's, it might be a little bit greedy, but that's 20% yeah. ready and waiting for Chung Pung on the start of his Oof. turn. He, oh, he can do it perfectly. He does it again. Yeah. Oh, thank perfectly God. Speed tune. Even missing. Right now, he can just go for the sleep and for the damage because the thing right now is that Chung Pong is going to lose the turn and die to the dots. Exactly. Ooh, that's a huge Brock Evan because he'll have skill two back once again. And the Hathor, if she doesn't miss anything, this is incredible damage. He knew that his Tablo wasn't getting cut. I was a little bit afraid to be completely honest. Yeah, me too, because that's got to be really tight speed tuning, right? Like, we're talking one, maybe two speed off. It's oh, no, Brock! I was very afraid Whoa. of a little bit of RNG, but misses! This is, this is so typical Chung Pung in a situation like this yes. to miss the strip. I love it. This is great. He can kill right now and get rid of a monster on the table and be on the 4-3. Oh, but misses for one HP for right now. A huge you Brock. He can get greedy and kill the Nana. Evan, uh, do you do you, yeah, do, you do it? It goes you through kill the, the Nana. Yes, and wow. now kill the Chung Pung and close this map. Oh, so oh, close. Kill. So close. That's okay. It doesn't change anything because I think he can secure it with just the unlucky seven. Not if exactly. If he gets a big Brock with a vampire, it can be dangerous. Huge Brock. The Chung Pung can reduce Evan. This is very, very dangerous. We might be watching a huge comeback right now if he doesn't kill him right now. Yes, that's a big kill. But the question is, does he have enough damage right after this kill? Because with another block, proc, Julian can send someone. He yes. needs to sleep it. That's a, straight up. He needs to. He needs to sleep the Julian. Yeah, he went for the Juno. Was was a little bit weird, but he can get give turns back. Back right now takes out the attack bars and now protects the team. And the Hopper gets another chance. But that kill this is so on the damage was huge. Like this is a really dangerous position for Obaba to be in right now. He's down his most powerful damage dealer. Wusa is a damage dealer, but he only yeah. has it once every few turns. Yeah. Going for the Juno. Let me be honest, that attack break didn't come in. A proc from Julian is huge right here. Can he get it? Didn't get it right now, but if he gets the proc on the second turn, oh my God. he can just guarantee a stun on the Wusa, and it matches over, Evan. And the attack bar gain from Julian, you saw that? Gaining attack this bar. This is it, a proc can win the match. A proc is it. A proc is it for True Will, he knows it. No he proc! Doesn't. A stun. We're still he in needs it. a stun, or Obabo takes this. Mm -hmm. This is this is very tense. Oh, oh my God! 
beautiful proc from a bobble, attack bar reduction from the hopper might come in. Another big res. He resisted the first time and now resisted the ATB reduction, but he's dead. The Wooza came in the clutch with the proc for the skill two, and now Juno is against the king of season 19. Wooza says, I don't care what you do. I, I don't care if you strip season. me. I own this season. I kill you. <laughs> An incredibly tense game in our round one of the finals match. Obaba walking away with a one. Oh, that was very, very close. Like a proc from Julian would have changed everything. You saw how hard he hit? A proc from either side of it. If Obabo had proc'd earlier with a Wusa, it would have been a completely different match and yeah. would have killed another monster earlier. If a proc from Julian in two chances, he could have sent the Wusa home yeah. and killed him, stunned him, get me out of the match. But right now, what we see is this was so close. Will they change strats or are they happy with it? Yeah. We saw True Will rolling the dice twice on the same strategy. But right now, three bands are gonna change. Yes, it's he might get what he wants. And and Julian is really showing his use here because he's kind of an interesting damage dealer because of his passive. So it's like he ends up looking a little different over the course of the game than most people because he's still there at the end. Because you can't, it's not always viable to focus mm -hmm. him down in the beginning because he's just gonna steal HP. You're disincentivized. And now that when he gets super low, he has the cleanse, right? So yeah. you, you don't want to hit him that early. You want to kill the rest of the team that make it hard and then, and then tackle him. Yeah. And unlike what we saw True Will going for on like say Bella, which was the DPS unit for Obabo, you want to take it out early. Yeah. It, Julian is not the same. So it's really dangerous as it scales late with high attack. But the thing is you kill the Bella, there's still another big DPS. Which is Wusa. Oh my <laughs> God, Wusa is amazing. I love this change. Pre-banning the Tablo, actually both Tablos, Vio and Swift Tablo. So he doesn't have to deal with a combo, which tells us is True Will going for a turn one compromise? Right now, will he bring the Narsha? Will he bring a speed lead? Or is he st staying with a bruiser? Once again, goes with the same. Right, similar. Oh, and we saw that it was the violent Tablo yeah. last time I just realized. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was the violent one. Yeah, like I called it slow comp. He brings slow the bio comp. fast comp. He brings the switch. So flexible. This is the moment that we're gonna see the Han with the speed lead for Bella too. This Playing is so very cool. comfortably and the Narsha comes in. So this is very similar, Evan. He has a speed lead for the Narsha that is a strip that deals lots of damage, has a death break, and on the other side, speed lead for the Bella that is a strip that deals a lot of damage. So both of them bringing in Immunity on one side, strip, and lots of damage. I'm kind of in love with True Whale's comp here. Look at this, the board presence, the consistent board presence that he's gonna have, right? Julian stays there and siphons HP. The Narsha drops off the chair, comes back with Nana. Like, this is amazing. He's got so many protection units for his DPS. Yeah. Meanwhile, over here, Obabo bringing back the Shining Star from his previous game with Etna. That huge damage, Etna, actually. The Jameer might be the last pick here, even without the Tableau. Oh, we brings Mephisto! I, I was joking about it at the start of the tournament, yes. but the pocket Mephisto is a real thing. Yeah, that tells him, do you still ban it? The question is, right now the Tiana is an interesting pick because it counters the Wusa, says I'm not that afraid of him, and you can silence the team with the Pontos. But is Obabo even caring about that, or will he get rid of the immunity or one of the damage dealers to not have to withstand that sustain? The Pontos is dangerous, one of the damage dealers, which is the main death break and damage. Yeah, that the is death Narsha. break would probably be the one to get rid of because he is only he's presenting the AOE from Nana and he's pre presenting the constant turn over turn defense break from Narsha. Narsha. Yeah, this is very interesting. I love the Mephisto pick, but he bans it. Wow, what no a way. respect! The respect ban. Yeah, I love that, but I do think it's very dangerous, Evan, because you give him the combo, right? You give the strip and damage from Etna with the death break from Han and then the other strip from Bella. So it's a lot of damage. If they can string them, which looks It, it looks like, like it's pretty tight. No, Wait, no, no, no. can he get the stun on Tiana? Yes! Yes, look at this. That's it. Look at how tight this tuning is. This yes. is incredible. These two players have brought such aggressive comps against each other. We are he truly can spoiled. guarantee a drop right now, Evan. And if he does it, there's no stacks on her, he kills, gets a second turn, can guarantee this stun on the other monster and there's no cleanse, can she get a stun? With a death break? Oh, does gosh. not! Gets one stun on the unit that's already gone yes. too. Uh, this would be, I, I, actually, if you drop the Narsha here, you're saying goodbye to your Bella, yeah. which is really dangerous. Evan, I think you go for the kill, because go for it. the, the Julian is gonna stun. kill anyone. Great stun. The Julian kills anyone right here, so it doesn't matter what HP. One HP. It one didn't kill, but he can guarantee gets the stone 
but the Wusa comes in, and the Julian with a proc can send her home. Oh my God, the death break. Oh, Julian! 26,000 damage, dude! We are talking about, this is one of the biggest procs in the game. A Julian proc again to send another monster almost dead. This is too hard to watch, Evan. The Julian coming in, a monster that no one believes in, and just and solos the match. Julian with an incredible showing already. This is this is insane. I love that draft. Both of these players just bringing hyper aggressive comps, just trading a kill, trading a kill, doing huge damage. This is the sort of gameplay I love seeing. Yeah, Julian is uh, really, really doing some work out there today. The unsung hero, Nana, landing all death breaks and enabling uh, yeah. all this damage. Incredible. Um, I think that Obabo did not see the Mephisto being banned at all. Which I agree with him. I would. Not I, I wasn't to gonna call banned. that. I yeah. wasn't gonna call that either because it's kind of it's it's kind of that niche thing. I don't know. You don't always ban it. You usually think uh, maybe I'll just kill it first. Yeah. So I can just. Or it's it not down. that well ruined. Yeah. It's a monster that people don't use a lot. So kudos to both players. I really uh, trust that both of them made the right decision in the pick and ban. The game was decided by that Julian proc. The first one sending one monster home, and then the second one to secure the second kill. A very strong monster. Short cooldown. It's like. Perna three years ago. Yes, it's yeah, it's Perna during the Wild West days of RTA. You remember? Uh huh. And 26. There's not a lot you can do against 26,000 damage. You know, it's like that's gonna you're gonna die. <laughs> it hurts. Let's Perna see how they Perna with a death break was heaven, and then I got her, and she was immediately she nerfed. Was immediately nerfed. Yeah. No, wow. I'm kidding. Nerf that's, by the meta. That's funny. That's very funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's the nerf by the meta, the hardest nerf in Summoner's War. But she did just get a nice buff recently. Yeah. Let's yeah, see yeah, if she comes pretty. back. We'll see what happens. Season Are 20. the pre-bans gonna be the same as game number one, or does True Will have something up his sleeve knowing that right now his comp is working? He decided to pick the Nana instead of the Wusa, giving her the number one pick, and does he still believe in that? Maybe this is his chance to grab that Wusa early, or he could show us a new monster because we know that we're seeing only a small fraction of his box right now. I would love mm -hmm. to see more of the monsters that he has in his toolkit. I love that he banned the Bella instead of the Han right here. So that's a really good change because the Han without the Bella doesn't fit that well solo mm -hmm. the comp of Obabo and right. he sticks with the Nana. Yeah, that's Bella, what we expected. Bella proving to be super flexible. Like mm -hmm. she's, she's having an incredible showing too. And Wusa coming out, and right now, is it gonna be, oh, a bison. Mm -hmm. First time that he's bringing it out. We really wanted it on game one. Remember that we talked about how good Remember it would that. be into no immunity, but there's a Pontos that can just come in as a third pick. <gasps> he switches to He responds with, with bison mark one. <laughs> and is this a swift Oki or a bio Oki? Is he thinking, can I outspeed and reset this carnival? Probably even if it's bio, it's still outspeeding a carnival because of the base speed. <gasps> that was what? really quick. Whoa. Stealing the Tiana. Very, very interesting. He's he's not sure about this. Obabo's mm. going back. Maybe he's thinking a little too fast. Yeah. I don't I don't mind it, but like he's not presenting enough immunity option to kind of justify yeah. the hard strip. Like he, I think he just showed what True Will picked in that other match and kind of went back to what he likes doing, which is a yeah. more aggressive thing. I like it. Uh, I, I don't think there was that much synergy with his play style in those picks. The Leo, you know it comes out when you see a it's Tavo. You it's basically it. a most ban, must ban, and now he has the option to pick a speed lead to try to all speed or pick some protection. Ooh, he goes with the Diana actually, which tells us maybe it's a carnal ban. I would love a Rika last pick actually here. That would be an awesome There's punish. There's triple wind on that side. Rika, carnal are really strong. He's kind of forced to ban one of them. You can still ban the Leo or ban the Nana and then yeah. pick a Rika. Let's see if he does it. Because at face value, it looks like Diana is a, is good at here because there's so much AOE, but all this AOE is actually really powerful against her. Like, you've got two sources of stun, you've got attack bar reduction from Carnal, and the. the Jameer can be the still suit. a pocket pick. There's the oh. Rika. Oh, nice Bobo, call, stop Seppi. watching this. Ah, thing. Oh, nice Bobo. call, Seppi. I said Tavlo Jameer comes out. I said Rika comes out. Let's do this. I love the last pick. Um, I do think that the Diana might have been a little bit. Un un yeah, yeah. Presumptuous. presumptuous, maybe? Yeah, because the Pontos right here is a very safe pick because there's only one strip on the table, right? Yeah. So I would have loved to see the Pontos, but this might just work. The Diana's banned. He lets the Leo through. He let, yeah, like I am told you, he has two fire units. We see this all the time in RTA. Carnal Reek are very strong against the Leo. They are probably either one or both of them are 100% res, 
to resist the reset from the Oki and the strip from the Chunk Punk. So mm -hmm. if one of them resists, this is a great game for Obabo. And Obabo also gets the flexibility to pick the HP lead too, so mm -hmm. he's gonna be substantially tankier going into this game. And this is a tanky. And off will didn't get the stun on the Oki, which was very important, Evan. Can he reset the Cardinal or the Rika right here? What does he do? Goes oh, for the Cardinal resistance. resistance. Called it second chances, but resistance. it's kind of off. Resistance, Rez. it's a it fire never lands. Never. Never. never lands. Never lands. Never lands. And with this, I think that this very strong draft from Obabo can take the game from here. I love the Rico last pick, like we talked about. Nice pick. Unnecessary proc. Not Didn't completely even need it. unneeded, but that's okay. You might as well get him out. Get him yeah. out while you can. Still use it. Gets triple stun. Here comes lots of dots and Big a stun to three. salt in the wound. And the thing is, you're gonna have a death break from Etna coming in because she has the skills back right now. You can even just throw the skill one to try to hit a death break. And the Carno, if it has a proc, there's a guaranteed kill because he has kill two already. Uh -huh. The Rika stun is coming out, which the slow doesn't do much, right? Because we have a Leo on the table, but I stuns win the match. I love that provoke. The, unfortunately, the procs took him out of it, mm -hmm. but like it was gonna give Obabo room to throw out the third skill yeah. if he wanted to, but uh, didn't end up working out that way. That's okay because he can kill. He can kill anything he wants yeah. right here, basically. Try oh, to the kill Chong Leo. will lose the turn, Evan. He can just guarantee right now the kill on Leo, and it's over because then the slows play a big part in beautiful draft. I'm telling you, as a Chunk Punk user, you hate to see Carno and Rika on the other team because you know they're on 100% rest. I you know, know, and it's already so hard for him because those monsters are naturally going to want you to glance on them because it's a fire to wind relationship. Mm -hmm. So it's it's really tough looking down the barrel of a Carnal or Rika with a Chunk Punk. And an Oki too, because you bank everything on that reset, right? right. If he had hit that reset, it would have been a different game. But still, the Rika control is so oppressive yeah. on no immunity. When we saw that draft, we saw he has the opportunity to ban a bunch of monsters here and just put the Rika. A lot of people are opting to pick Rika Sion last picks against these comps with zero immunity and punish the Nana because the Nana right now only revives with 40%. So it's way easier Which to kill a monster once. less than 60. Yes, yeah, exactly. So it's still it's still troublesome. She's still there, but uh, it is it is less. Mm -hmm. And it's noticeably less. The balance patch was So a small hand to people at home. If you're having trouble playing against Nana, build a Sion, build, build any of this stuff. Yeah, mm -hmm. so even if he did reset the, the, the Carnal there, he still had Rika. It was a great backup plan. And if you don't have a Rika, a lot of people are gonna say he's not as good, but has won me a lot of matches. The Thrain. Oh the Thrain. yeah, yeah. You that's don't great. have a reek. Yeah, nice option there actually. Two A Thrain is is super great right now. Uh, when he was first coming out, people were saying he's like, you know, option for Oki, option for an Oki replacement. Uh, but yeah, option for Rika replacement more like. We're going into game game four right now, guys. We might actually be getting what we wanted. Notably, this is game point for Obabo. Match point, baby. Let's go. It's a 2-1. Let's see what the pre bands this match are gonna be. He took out the Narsha. When the Narsha was on the table, True Will brought her. Now is Tablo and Nana. I like that he respected the Nana. We see the first Nana pre band He's he says that he's going very aggressive because if you don't want revive Evan, you want to kill something early, he gets the Han Bella if he wants to. So he can just pick Wusa into Han Bella, then bring in the Jameer if he wants, and mm -hmm. then some reset, some control. <gasps> what? No yeah. way! He has a Wait Bella. a second! This is unprecedented. Wait, is True Whale actually gonna take? He took the Bella if, from Obama! Hey, 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 that can be unruined. Get that Bella Wait tested. a second! This is crazy. True Will taking the Bella. I didn't know that he had that. This is... <laughs> Slow clap chat because no one here was expecting... I didn't I don't know, know if... I wonder if Obabo... I wonder if Obabo saw that coming. Oh, there's the Nigong. I you called it. it. I called it. I'm glad it appeared. So he now he goes full bruiser with the Nigong. Right now there's only one death break, but lots of damage on True Will's side. And I like the Pontos. I would keep the Pontos there because that's what hurt him. On yes. the other map. What you want to consider is do you want to lock in the three heavy DPS? Please do pick Molong. I would just support? love to see a Molong, Evan. Molong Icarus right here is super broken because Truel needs to bring another survival or a reviver or something like that because he has so much kill potential with a double pioneer on the table and the control. He can just ban the immunity, or if he picks a friend or something like that, Molong Icarus kill. A Balio! Yes, recently buffed. Really hard to deal with, and the Hathor makes him pick another immunity, and now 
He's probably going to ban one of the Indians. He, he's in a position where he kind of has to. Obabo choosing to play mm. more of full defensive kind of play style instead wait, of wait, doing wait. a hybrid that here. That Pontos was off well. Oh, if he yeah, thinks right. he can outspeed, Good memory. he can just let the Pontos through. But if he doesn't want to risk it, he can ban the Pontos, play against the Fran, which is a less Very aggressive. Very good memory. Very good memory. Yeah, because that's a, ooh. Let's see what Obabo does. Let's see if he remembers that. He's probably taking it into account. It looks yeah, like- they banned the Pontos. Awesome. I love that. I love and that Ben. And the thing right now is he has the Abelio to counter the big damage. If he doesn't kill in one shot, the Abelio's gonna cut in. He's gonna Provoke heal. people. Yes, and gonna be very, very strong. Remember That's though, it. he doesn't prevent ooh, death. Ooh, the Abelio is very fast, Evan. Uh-oh. She outspeeds everyone, and I think the Julianne plays together, but she's not hitting as, as the one. Yeah. Big cut. Kenny got the provoke on the Julianne. Does not, but a huge proc to get the stun. Can he stun this Julianne? And a nice little heal on top of it too. He could try. I think he's thinking about it right now. Ox oh, instead for the wild. He transforms ball. back to have the passive still. Smart. Very good choice. Super smart because he he has a completely different passive when he's in the bear form. He instead. I'm heals. still afraid to be. Oh, there's proc changes everything. No drop. So he close. can just put the immunity up and big hit. Does it cut again? Yes! Oh, the no! proc! Oh, the proc! Oh, Babo oh. hates to see it. That's the proc. Julian's been coming here wanting to play for True Whale He's tonight. the MVP so far, Evan. But remember, he does have Revive with this Nagong, so he's playing it with tranquility. He's really waiting. waiting for the moment. He's waiting for that big moment. Yeah, it, it, you, don't need to, you don't need to flip out yet. Mm -hmm. you, can, you can wait. And he saw that this Bella doesn't hit as hard as his. Yeah. So as long as he kills this Narsha fast, he has a big chance of a comeback. Yes, because and that big emphasis on killing Narsha quick because she's got attack buff and speed buff, mm -hmm. even without defense breaks. A uh, proc here again can be huge because he can deal some more damage and then try to kill. Skill two can try to send his Narsha home. Does he do it? Nobody gets the proc to try to provoke. A provoke right here is huge. He goes for the stun instead. Play Interesting. Oh, oh, the, the proc to interrupt his passive. Yes, but he doesn't have damage to kill. Because she just took a turn. Mm -hmm. So all of her stacks are kind of reset. Yes. This is where he's going to take down. The triple the provoke to kill Evan. This might this be This might match. be it. This is the match because he has revived. Bringing in the Carnal back and lots of, lots of HP. Big proc to kill Carnal once again. But Carnal is not the key. The key is Wusa. If Wusa procs, this is a match. He goes for it. Friend doesn't proc. No proc on the Julianne as well. The procs now are even, and he has a kill on the table because the Wusa has right now, right here, the strip, an ATB reduction. Can the Julianne kill with a tech buff? He might actually be able to do something. Ooh, if, no. if he proc there, man, yeah. hit True Whale's monsters are really trying to keep him in this mm -hmm. game. Here comes Bella. That could actually, oh, that was so close. Oh, if you're True Whale. No proc. Now he can lock it down if he Big wants. Big heal. He dumps That's the whole dead. thing. That's actually. Evan. Whoa! That proc from Julianne is very big, but the thing is, he's been controlling right now. And the bell is getting stronger with the time. The Abelio might not have been enough. Enough sustain, because the cleanse is what his comp was lacking. The stuns and the dots, the attack bar reduction, are coming in really strong late. No A proc with the attack buff can kill the match right now. Or even if he just attack bar redu reduces right now, he goes for the heal. Interesting. Right now, asleep. Mm -hmm. Asleep is huge. Be a great no time sleep. to sleep. Procs into some damage and yes. heal for the team. How can Bella do what she couldn't do before? That's a lot of damage. It's a lot to ask Proc of Bella. No, no Proc to kill. Oh, this no. is it. Can he kill? One HP. He needs a desperately a proc he right here, Evan. You actually need to he stun it. Kill. You gotta can't stun kill. everybody. It's oh, we got the proc. Abelio, Abelio bringing the match back. He deserved that proc because there were two procs on the other side, so he brings one back. Right now, he needs a sleep. No sleep, but he's the biggest proc! What is this? Nigong! Nigong gameplays, baby. We see Nigong on one side. We see Julian on the other one. Two very unexpected heroes. It's so surprising, but True Whale is still not out. That is not, that is not game yet. He can still do it with Julian if he chooses to proc a bunch. He needs Julian, but the thing is the Wusa is back, baby. Look at and all those shields. Protection and shields and the double pioneer hits harder than a rock. Attack power up 40%. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a scary time for Obabo still. He needs to kill Fran's stat so he can start working on the Julian. Evan, 
the monster that is the MVP right here is the Abelio because the Abelio procced when he needed. Can he get a heal right here? But I don't think it's enough. The whole team from Obabo moves. Everybody is gonna move before this. He needs right now to get really lucky and not die. Survive, no procs. Can he not die? Oh my god, and it's the friend! What is that 1 HP? His monsters brought oh, him in this my game. God. It's everyone against the Julian. And he will oh, win the game. Obabo is our champion, the legend of season 19. Congratulations.